I'm gonna show you today how to have some black head and boss water. It's the one here. Let's do it. And you get two boxes with the Donbass wardrobe. I'm starting with the middle panel, bottom side of the middle panel. There's gonna be two wooden plugs, just place them in. We're gonna build the wardrobe face down. And we can join now the middle panel with the bottom panel. Join them together, find the right holes, and secure it through the bottom panel to the middle panel. This is gonna be two long screws securing those two panels together. Exactly the same on the top, you're gonna to have two wooden plugs. And we can secure the top part together. This is top panel joining with the middle panel. Find the red holes and secure it with the two screws. Two long screws through the top panel to the middle panel. Two wooden plugs on each of the bottom panel and the top panel. You can see I'm using uh, electric screwdrivers for this uh, for this job. Very useful, save you a lot of time, and uh, is faster as well. The one bigger one is combination with the drill. The small one is just a screwdriver. They have big help, and they the battery lasts forever as well. Very useful. I'm gonna leave the links in the description, so you can check it out if you're interested. We can place the side panel, find the red holes on the top and on the bottom, place it in. Split the two long screws through the side panel to the to the top panel. This is the top side of the wardrobe. Don't go too deep with those screws. Just when you in line with the side panel, stop. Bottom panel exactly the same. Two long screws to the side panel. See, this is the bigger scroll driver. We're gonna have two slim panels. Those two they're coming at the bottom. Don't forget to put the white side at the front. At at this point. Uh, with the wardrobe facing down, so the white side gonna be on a carpet. The one side is rough. This is the other side panel. You can place it in, but we're not gonna secure with the screws yet. We're gonna place those two slim panels first. So we face the white part down, so it's gonna be at the front at the end, and we can find those two holes at the front. On the other side exactly the same, see the side panel is not secured yet so we can move it a little bit out to place the holes in. Exactly the same, the second slim panel, just place it in a, the solid side which we secured already, move the other side panel out a little bit and place the wooden plugs in. Okay, now we can tap it all together and secure it with the, and secure it with the long screws, two at the bottom and two on the top. This is the bigger screwdriver I mentioned, the combination with the drill and the screwdriver. Very useful for bigger screws, it's a bit stronger than the small one. Small L-shaped bracket as a support for the slim panel at the front, so it's not gonna go anywhere because it's quite long, so it's easy to break or just pop out when you're gonna move the wardrobe, especially on a carpet. And it's gonna we're gonna have three legs on each side panel, and you can put two legs on the middle. Just gonna plastic legs. Okay, back side panel. We're gonna have two of these. One is for the shelf part. One is for the rail part. This is the one opening one for the rail part. Just place them in together. Join them on the middle. Find the right position for the wardrobe, that's mean 90 degrees each corner, so me measure from the corner to corner, you should get exactly the same number, and that's mean the wardrobe is in the right position. Now we can secure all the nails, first corner to corner, the wardrobe is gonna stay where it is, and now we can place the nails all around it and on the middle as well. Make sure the side panels are straight as well, and secure the wardrobe all around and on the middle. Two L-shaped brackets, those brackets are if you want to attach this wardrobe on the wall. And you 
can leave the pot drop up. I would suggest two people here, unless we wanna break your back. We're gonna have uh, four plastic for the shelves, four plastic plugs for the shelves, two on each side. They go quite hard in, so when you twist them from side to side, I found it easier to come in. I have a small screw to secure it as well. So two shelves, uh, so one shelf, and secure the screws. This is not securing the shelf, this is just securing the plaque from coming out. Second one, exactly the same. You can see I using here the small screwdriver. You have small light, so you see where you're working. The battery lasts forever as well. Very useful for a small places and smaller screws. The bigger, stronger one is good for a bigger screws when you need a bit more power and a bigger place is when you have enough space to work around. Hanging rail, we're gonna have two plastics, just place them in the bottom hole and the top one we secure it with a screw. On the top of the plastic there is a hole for the screw, just secure it in. And we can place the hanging rail, just click it in one side and the other side and we can start to do the doors, we're gonna have three doors hinges, this is slightly different than the instructions, I'm joining them together before I put them up on the doors so I join those two parts together, watch out the smaller parts which side you're putting, there's like small zigzag on one side, that should be the outer side so just place it in, secure it, make sure that all hinges at the screw which is securing the hinge locking screw are in the same position on all of the hinges then you're not gonna have a problem place the hinges in and secure you can put the hinges in the door and secure them with the two screws on each hinge you see this is a bit thicker screws bigger ones I'm using the bigger screwdriver here Second door exactly the same, three hinges, just place them in and secure it with the two screws. Uh, the bigger screwdriver, it has the clutch or some kind of stopper, I think it's called clutch, where you basically adjust how hard you want to go on the screw. So when you feel the resistance, just start to click and it stop you automatically. So you not going around the screw, not destroying the screw. Very useful. Third door, the biggest one, are exactly the same. Three hinges, two screws in each hinge. And we can uh, place them on the side for now. We start with uh, two smaller doors. You see, I'm using my leg because I'm working alone here. If you have second person, it is useful. If not, one leg under it and you can adjust the height of the doors I'm doing this way very easy, simple and you can do it alone so place the top screw adjust the height of the doors, second screw and you can secure it where you want them after you can tie up the, the middle and the top screw you can secure both screws in a hinge now When you do other door, go exactly the same height, so we don't need to be worried about the height. You're just gonna um, adjust the doors left or right, depend on the gap on the middle. I'm gonna explain how to do that in a moment. Second door exactly the same. You see, I'm adjusting the doors, the bottom with my leg, and securing the screws on the hinge. These two screws on each hinge. see there's quite a big gap here, I'm gonna show you how to adjust the doors in a moment. In this uh, Donbass water is coming like that because there is three doors next to each other. And those hinges coming like that. Third door, the bigger door, the biggest door, exactly the same. Adjust the height exactly the same like you did in those two previous doors, so you don't have a problem with the height of the doors. And secure the hinge with the six secure the hinges with the two screws in each hinge. 
small stickers that just prevent the doors against slamming they're quite loud when they slam as well anyway because they don't have the self closing hinge here you can see the gap here is very nice it's a, it's a nice small gap here on those two doors is very big so we're gonna adjust the left doors we're gonna push them towards the middle so locking screws screw unlock and this one is the adjusting screw just screw it all the way in because the gap is quite big and I want to adjust only one doors because the other gap with the bigger door is correct so just screw that uh, sec secure it completely in so this is locking screw unlock it a little bit so we can push the adjusting screw completely in secure it in see all the way in you may not need to go all the way in if you want to adjust the old, both doors. In this case, I adjust just one door, so I want to go all the way in. If that's going to be good enough, I'm going to leave it. If not, I adjust the other doors as well, other door as well, in this case. So adjusting screw and locking screw. Once you finish adjusting, lock the locking screws, and that's it. You see, we got nice equal gap on uh, all three doors. Now we're going to have door handles. A simple plastic door handle with the two screws through the doors the, all the holes are pre-drilled I found those uh, door handles a bit flimsy this is hard plastic and sometimes the holes in them are not pre-drilled so I, I try to go with the screw all uh, straight in with the just little bit pre-drilled hole and I broke the handle ones so check the holes if they are pre-drilled properly if yes you can go with the screws no problem if not just drill the hole a little bit before you put the screw in otherwise you can you can break the door handle in this case we have all as it's supposed to be so there's no problem so just secure the door handle with the two screws and that's it that's how it looks Donbass wardrobe the height of the doors same and nice equal gaps and this is Ikea Donbass Wardrobe, I hope you enjoy it, I guess, thumbs up, subscribe to my channel as always, you will make my day and see you in my next one very very soon, have a fantastic day.